So this is the M pedal DIY. And basically I just started it this about a minute or two ago. And again, I actually just unscrewed the three screws that hold the um, footwell panel to the car. And this is on the driver's side footwell panel. It's held in place by three T15 Torx bit screws. And it's really easy, you just get a Torx bit, a standard um, screwdriver. And it, you know, it comes out, it's three sections there, one, two, and three, and it's screwed up. So pull that down, you could un unplug the wire in if you want, or just leave it like that. This is as much as you need to do. Now the reason I did that is because the original pedal that's in there now, when you look at the replacement pedal, it has a hook and this hook needs to be uh, hooked into the new um, into the um, panel there so without removing a panel you could either actually break the hook on the one you on the pedal you're removing or if you don't and you do break the hook and you don't remove that putting this new one in is gonna be really tough without um, having the panel down to hook this back in there because this hook anchors the pedal to the car as well as you have the nubs in there now the replacement pedal as you see there it has um, four standard sort of pegs and now I know beforehand that they're thinner than the ones that I'm gonna pull out of there actually let me just pull this out you guys can see how that's anchored there and you see how that hook is right so that hook actually is what hooks that to this thing here so by removing the panel I have access to that hook and I could just pull this up so now this it's just anchored to the carpet by some plugs behind here. Similar to this, these pegs here. So I'm just going to pull it up really hard. Alright, one, two, three. And you just pull that up like that. And what's going to happen is you're going to break the pegs there. So you can see I broke all the pegs because they're anchored by uh, anchoring O-rings. So it's actually installed before the carpet is put in the car. So. This is sort of installed to be permanently on the car. So that's the uh, original one there, and it has five actually. It has one, two, three, four, five. Now the replacement M pedal has four. And as you, I don't know if you could see, but these are much fatter than the replacement pedal. So when you look at the hole, that it's gonna actually hold the replacement pedal. It's actually really deep, these holes. <laughs> there which is kind of funny so I know the broken half of these things are down in that hole but the hole is actually really deep so I'm not worried about putting this um, in and having um, maybe the pieces that broke in there to prevent this from going it should go right in so actually I'm gonna try to do that whilst holding the camera now you just line it up with the holes there and you just um, hook it in now I'm doing this because I have the stainless steel pedal on the car so that's it. That's actually installed. So, so you guys can see. So that's kind of the end look I'm looking for. Now I do have to hook that clip back in to the underside of the kick panel, and also have to make sure that the pegs anchor because right now it's just going to be really loose because I don't have um, fat pegs and also lost the anchoring disc. Now that's the only way you can do it by either getting some glue and gluing it down but what I'm gonna actually try to do is because these holes are kind of really fat and chunky I'm going to take electrical tape and just tape each of these pegs up and just sort of squeeze it in the hole like use the friction to hold it in there because what's gonna happen is once this top clip is clipped into the kick panel it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna come right off it's gonna stay in the car it's just that you don't want the bottom edge of it flopping around you kind of want the the bottom pegs to be anchored since the top peg is going to be anchored so that's it that's my um is that easy it's what five minutes into this video i just started maybe two minutes before i started shooting the video and now it's just to take three screws out so it's really easy you just have to pull with force and that's the only way you're going to get the original um uh dead pedal off the car by just pulling it up um pulling it off because um uh, it's anchored to the carpet with pegs and anchoring disc o-rings that sort of seal the pegs onto the carpet and that's the only way so I'm gonna shoot the video again when I'm done okay bye guys